Democratic news game changer Democrats are under arrest. It's finally happening. Since the day Donald Trump was chosen for president, a growing number of government officials have been working hard to knock him off the throne by exposing classified information. The distressing level of corruption in our government has turned out to be huge these few months due to this, and it was confirmed once again this week when a State Department member of staff was imprisoned and charged with obstructing an FBI investigation into her communications with foreign intelligence agents. Western journalism informed that Candace Claiborne, a 60-year-old member of staff who has been with the State Department since 1999, was in prison on Tuesday and charged with boycotting an official proceeding and making fake accusations to the FBI, both of which are criminal offenses. She pleaded not guilty to all charges throughout a Wednesday court appearance. The Department of Justice ma statement saying Claiborne was accused of communicating with two Chinese intelligence agents who delivered tens of thousands of dollars in presents and benefits to Claiborne and her family for more than five years. During her career, Claiborne served in Baghdad, Iraq, Khartoum, Sudan, and Beijing and Shanghai, China. The State Department demanded that Claiborne reports her contacts, but she did not do so. The Dodge said Claiborne received money as well as an Apple iPhone and laptop computer, Chinese New Year's presents, dinners, international travels and vacation trips, a Chinese fashion school paid tuition, a completely furnished apartment, and a monthly scholarship. It also said that when she found out that she was being investigated, Claiborne advised her co-conspirators to erase evidence linking her to the Chinese agents. Candace Claiborne is accused of violating her oath of office as a State Department employee, who was entrusted with top-secret information when she purposefully mislead federal investigators about her significant and repeated interactions with foreign contacts, said Andrew W. Vale, assistant director in charge of the FBI's Washington field office. The FBI will continue to investigate individuals who, though required by law, fail to report foreign contacts which is a key indicator of potential insider threats posed by those in positions of public trust. As a State Department employee with a top-secret clearance, she received training and briefing about the need for caution and transparency, U.S. Attorney Channing Phillips said in a statement. This case demonstrates that U.S. government employees will be held accountable for failing to honor the trust placed in them when they take on such sensitive assignments. If she is to be charged. Claiborne could get up to 25 years in prison. This story is a good reminder of just how common the corruption in our administration has become. Barack Hussein Obama made it even worse by enabling such incidents to happen right beneath his nose and doing nothing to end them. If you think Donald Trump should clean up our government share this. IT's happening. Washington tells IRS director to get out and his response is. Under Obama, there were 165k motivations to doubt the Internal Revenue Service. That was the quantity of specialists working all day at the administration charge office when our previous president was inaugurated. That number immediately raised not long after Obamacare was organized, as the IRS would deal with all quests for punishments concerning the uninsured. The outcome? Citizens got screwed twice over. Along these lines, it's nothing unexpected that quite a bit of America needed IRS official John Koskin and gone. It wasn't conceivable under Obama yet with President Donald Trump, it wasn't just conceivable, it was likely. A brief time frame back, 15 senators kept in touch with President Trump, requesting he supplant the present IRS director and for a less fanatic leader. Yes, Congress needs him gone and our new president is probably going to concur. There's only one issue, he won't leave. Washington Free Beacon, IRS Commissioner John Koskinen says he will finish his term through November despite congressional calls for him to step down immediately. House Ways and Means Chairman Kevin Brady, R, Texas, and 14 committee members sent a letter to President Donald Trump on April 5 asking him to replace Koskinen as soon as possible. Trust in the IRS is hitting rock bottom under IRS Commissioner John Koskinen, the members wrote. Not only was key evidence relevant to this committee's investigation destroyed under his watch, but he also misled Congress in the process, 
intentionally degraded customer service at the agency, and has since lost the trust of the American people. We believe that trust cannot be fully restored under Commissioner Koskinen's leadership, they said. For this reason, we are writing to request the removal of John Koskinen as Commissioner of the IRS and to request that a new leader be put in place as soon as possible. The IRS began targeting conservative and Tea Party groups in 2010, delaying their applications for tax-exempt status before the 2012 presidential election. Koskinen is Obama's substitution for Lois Lerner and it creates the impression that, shy of real expelling the man from Washington, D. C., he is not going anyplace. These profoundly settled in Obama folks are bringing about genuine issues for Trump's organization, this is the reason to plead the swamp. Has turned into a fitting energizing cry. Suffice it to state that this man has similarly the same number of outrages as Hillary Clinton. Furthermore, truly, he's now responsible for an association the American individuals completely doubt. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth, be patriots. Thank you for reading. H. T. Washington Free B Seconds ago. House just passed a bill to ban the application of foreign law. The threat of terrorism grows bigger each day, all over the world. The extreme increase of radical Muslims not only in the United States, but everywhere, is setting all the alarms as time goes on. Fortunately, now we have a president that understands the danger and actually cares about the safety of our American citizens. In order to achieve that, House passed a bill to ban the application of foreign law. This bill has been criticized by Democrats and Muslims alike, who have claimed that this potential law only targets Muslims and that it supports xenophobia and racism. It's just baffling how ignorant these Democrats are, still failing to see the real picture and realize the threats. Maybe they should turn on the news once and a while and become aware of all the horrible things going on around the world. Islam is no longer considered a religion, it is turning into nothing but a reason to spread violence and fear through the world. Despite the Democrats' disapproval, the bill passed quite easily, reports World Politicus. Hopefully, the Democrats will soon see why a law like this is so extremely necessary, not to hurt others, but rather to keep American citizens safe. That should always be our top priority. We've heard a lot of discussions about this being a religious law and specifically directed at preventing Sharia law and I just don't read IT that way, Republican Teresa Hamilton said. We have allowed legal immigrants, illegal immigrants and now refugees to take advantage of our law and culture to take up their OWN agendas. They have no intention to abide by our laws, nor are they interested in assimilating to our culture said Sandy Montgomery, adding that the bill was long overdue. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook or Twitter scroll down. Revealed Barack Obama is trying to get this video silenced. He doesn't want it watched. Liberals have removed this film from the internet multiple times. It has been posted again, but it may not remain for long. A short but powerful documentary was recently released revealing the full destruction of the Muslim invasion of Europe. Liberals in America are trying to censor the movie that will convince millions to close our borders to so-called refugees. The eye-opening documentary details the true scale of the destruction that has been hidden from us. For example, even London, once the center of the Western world, is not immune from the Muslim influx. Englishmen are now a minority in the English capital, marking the start of a trend spreading around the continent. This is a trend that is occurring in all major European city centers. If the politicians have their way, in a few years Germany will not be German and France will not be French. The Muslim migrants are attempting to bring their disgusting customs with them to Europe. Sharia law is starting to spread, and crime is on the rise. Finally, Bill O'Reilly makes major announcement, do you stand with him? Bill O'Reilly literally changed the TV news business forever. Along with Fox News, Bill has reinvented how America gets its news. 
Bill has been the highest rated host on cable news for 15 straight years. His astounding numbers even rival and sometimes surpass the network shows like CBS and NBC. No one has ever done what Bill has done. He has become one of the most recognizable faces in all of the conservative and liberal media. So, it comes as a no surprise that the Democrats attack him at every turn in their quest to delegitimize the conservative media. It hasn't worked and won't work. Because the people are sick and tired of liberal bias in the media that is corrupting the minds of average Americans. Most recently, the liberals have been demanding Fox News fire Bill O'Reilly based on claims that he sexually harassed women. Fox News is not buying their claims. Look, in the highly charged atmosphere over at Fox it is normal for people passed over for promotions to become annoyed and file lawsuits. This happens in every major corporation and most of the suits are frivolous. Fox News decided to change the narrative and show their support for Bill in the most major way. Fox News announced it is seeking to extend Bill O'Reilly's contract. O'Reilly's current contract expires in June, and it is worth $18 million annually. However, The Wall Street Journal reported that O'Reilly will be re-upped by the network. Despite the vicious attacks against him, we are now seriously considering legal action to defend Mr. O'Reilly's reputation, claimed Bill's lawyer Frederick S. Newman. I'm a father who cares deeply for my children and who would do anything to avoid hurting them in any way. And so, I have put to rest any controversies to spare my children, concluded O'Reilly. Do you support Bill O'Reilly after all these attacks by the liberals?